guys, Steve here from GeekPeak.rocks and welcome back to Geek Peak. Uh, today I'm just putting up a quick video simply because um, I can't wait to open these so I don't want to wait around to make the video. But uh, my nephew stopped in my studio today and he's, a, he's a, an adult and um, and we have we have a lot of the same interest. He's, I mean I'm big into comic books and figures, he's really into action figures and, and he's, he's, he's starting uh, to be a collector. and, and and uh, he he found a, a cool little shop today, and, and um, we was kind of sending messages back and forth. He was sending me pictures of things in the shop, and he brought me some gifts, which which he didn't have to do. But uh, like I said, he's he's a collector. He, he shares the same same passion as I do for for collecting and action figures and superheroes and, and different things. He he likes different things as well. We're we're definitely from the same blood, no doubt about it. We're a lot alike, you know. So. He brought me some gifts, which I, I completely appreciate. He didn't have to do it, and I will definitely return the favor. Um, and, and I think a lot of this young man, and, and, and I'm glad we can share a common interest. It's it's pretty cool. But anyway, uh, one of the things he brought me was this um, this JLA uh, the Atom. Now, uh, pretty cool, pretty cool figure. Um, I do. Uh, I get some light in here. So to help out. There we go, and uh, so we got uh, we got this Adam figure, a Justice League, and it comes with a um, comes with a stand and things like that. And there's there's other figures in the set, and uh, and it's it's a really cool. It, it, it's a bit of a vintage looking figure. So when he sent me the picture, I saw the Adam, and then I saw saw that it was kind of vintage looking, and it caught my interest. And I said, Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, he he, he decided to grab that for me. So I, I am going to open that up, and it is articulated. There's some points of articulation, and and, and you know I'll, I'll show it out. I'll show it to you. But but another thing that's very interesting, and these aren't very old at all, and, and I didn't even know about these. And, and I've I've said before, I, I I've played Magic the Gathering. Um, I used to play with a friend of mine all the time, and and he he got these um, Magic the Gathering Legacy Collection, and. Um, these these are are awesome and, and they're heavy so that tells you that tells you that that it's it's probably a quality figure to and, and he's loaded with accessories he's got lots of weapons and things like that and this is um, series one of, of six there's six well series one there's six in series one these released in 2014 so I'm assuming that um, there's going to be a series two shortly. So, um, and I'm, I'm gonna, I am gonna open this guy simply because I gotta, I don't wanna, I don't wanna wait. Um, man, keep going with these lights. I, I, I will get better at this. So, I got my knife, trusty knife, which is Special Forces Edition, USA. Yeah. Special. Anyway, um, so I'm going to cut this dude open because I can't wait. I'm such a child. I can't wait to put him on my shelf and look at him. And I do. I'm not gonna lie. I uh, I kind of play around with these dudes a little bit. I mean, you know, I uh, kind of pose them and play with them, and, and you know, I'm a kid. So anyway, so here we have. Um, I've got. I've got I've got the, the tools, man. I've got the goods for opening stuff. You know how you you open these characters up and they got these little wires. Well, you know I keep wire cutters. I got my knife, my wire cutters. I keep all that stuff right here because who wants to untie this crap? I just want to clip it and uh, even get into it, man. Like I, I'm wasting my time unwrapping bread ties. I mean that's ridiculous. So I just clip that stuff and pull them out. Now, now this isn't going to be your normal review. I'm not going to give you close-ups and things like that. And this, I mean, like I said, this is just a quick video. Uh, he, he he just left. He just left, and, and he was showing me some of the stuff he had just added to his collection. And we geeked out for a while, and and, uh, and then he said, "Well, here you go, Uncle. You can have this, and you can have this, and and, and I appreciate it, and, and and thank you." So. Man, this guy is so weird. 
wow. But you guys are going to be impressed. And he is articulated like a mother. Um, look at this guy. Look. Holy smokes. Like, my nephew has a knack for finding some pretty impressive stuff because these figures, what I am a fan, like you unbelievable. He is articulated here. He is articulated in the knee. Now I'm not gonna, and his knee joints are tight, and I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna, but I mean he is he is articulated. Waist movement, I mean joints everywhere. Like I said, it's not gonna be a full review. I'll do a full review on him later. I just wanted to show you guys what I got because I was super excited and I wanted to open him because I'm a big child. But he's got braids. He's he is cool. And he comes with this sword. This sword which he's got a sheath. And it's it's a sheath, man. It's not plastic. It's man, I am I am super impressed. And this slides in there. So he's got he's got his sword in there. And then he comes with this a gigantic double-ended axe and it's like bronze or, or iron on one end and gold on the other and 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 this is this is great I am super super impressed yeah this guy I will I will do I will do a review on him now that I've opened him um, I'll do a review later but, but here he is, and all of his just amazing, you know, and I don't know if some of this clothing is going to, I mean, it's, it doesn't seem to really get too much in the way, um, as far as articulation. He is sweet, look, he's got his tail, look, he's got a tail back, I mean, he's a lion. He's awesome. He is awesome. Thank you, nephew. He is awesome. Looking forward to, to helping you. Uh, uh, build on on this collection. We, we will, we will each have the first series, all six, guarantee it. I guarantee it. And uh, and now I'm going to open JLA the Atom. And uh, you know I thought about not opening this guy simply because um, he's in like this this bubble package and and there's no putting him back in. I don't care. Um, I I'm opening him. So. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of, of not enjoying my collection. That's To me, that doesn't make any sense. So, I'm destroying this package. But, uh, and, and, and it's not that I really want to destroy it, but there's no other way. It's, it's the way they package this stuff. And it is, it is vintage looking. I'm certain it's not vintage because I can tell by logos and things like that on the, the packaging. But um, again, we're not wasting time with these ties. Um, nobody has time to untwist something for 10 minutes. It just makes you angry anyway. And then you end up just trying to rip him out. And you end up breaking your figure. That's never good. And then you gotta break out the super glue. And you just gotta hold the mess ahead of you. But, um, well, he's cool, too. Yeah. Good finds, nephew. Good finds. You're good. You're really good job today, man. That's... So we get this cool stand, JLA classified stand. And then we get, and he's articulated quite a bit articulated. That, that, that tells me, again, he's, it's not a vintage figure. Um, because he's he's got a lot lots of points of articulation and the vintage figures just did it. You know what I mean? Like they they weren't as articulated as you got. But he's cool. The Adam man. I mean he's got he's got head movement. Um, I'll do a, a quick review on him. He's got elbow joints, um, he's got shoulder shoulder joints, elbow joints, head movement, um, no waist, but he does have uh, tight knee joints. And he's got boot rotation. That's that's not vintage. Um, and then of course he's got up and down leg motion, and and he's sweet. The Adam man, he is. That's I like that. I like that. I like that he's got this this stand. I've got um, a lot of my Arkham 
characters, my Batman characters have these stands with the logo on it, and I, I love that uh, for display reasons. Uh, nothing hurts you more than a figure that just won't stand up. But but there we have it. There we have it. My, my nephew went out on an adventure. He got some cool stuff too. He got he got a Bizarro, and he's he's going to start working on that collection. He got uh, he got some cool stuff, really cool stuff. And he found this little shop, and I might go to this little shop and ask him if I could do some video in there and mention them or something, and maybe interview the owner or something, do something kind of different, and quirky like that uh, for the channel. But but there you have it. Uh, we have uh, we have Magic the Gathering, which I had fun playing. Um, Ajani Goldmane. Ajani Goldmane is the character I have. He had uh, Garuk Wildspeaker. I'm pretty sure he had number two. And um, and and I'm gonna help him build this. I'm gonna help him get all six of these guys. I'm gonna help him because when I get one, I'm gonna get him one. So um, it's it's fun. It's fun sharing the same interests with someone and, and doing things like this for each other. So. So thank you, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for taking a peek into my my little gift that showed up in the studio today. Thanks for taking a peek into it with me, and uh, thank you, nephew. You're awesome, and I love you, bud. And uh, um, and uh, that's it. There you have it. My cool toys for the day. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Geek Peek. Check me out on Twitter. I really want to interact with you guys. Check out some of my videos over here and subscribe up here. And check out www.geekpeak.rocks. www.geekpeak.rocks. That's our official website for the Geek Peak channel. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll talk to you soon.